Hey guys, welcome to yet another session of K21 Academy. In this session, we will see how to choose your cloud career path. Trust me guys, cloud is one of the trending technologies nowadays. Businesses are rapidly moving towards cloud and expanding their infrastructure. As a result, they are looking for cloud expert to handle their resources. So this video is gonna be very important for those who want a career switch into cloud and who want to see themselves as a cloud expert. Before moving further, let's have a look to agenda for this video. Firstly, we will get introduced to cloud computing. Then we will see leading cloud providers. After that, cloud computing market size, then skill required to become cloud expert, job opportunities for cloud engineers, the average salary for cloud engineers, cloud engineers role and responsibilities, brand they're already trusting in cloud and using cloud services and finally we will see how to get started with cloud computing let's start with overview of cloud computing before that what is the actual need of cloud computing life was not that easy before cloud computing was introduced the traditional way of hosting websites was very complicated and expensive like you would be needing a team of expert for the every step of the deployment process. After cloud computing, everything becomes so easy and even you can transfer sensitive data through internet. Cloud computing provides accessibility. That means cloud-based application and data are accessible from virtually any internet connected devices. We can consider cloud as a most secure environment and the fast speed of applications to produce in the market. And the best thing with the cloud is you only pay for what you use. Now let's see overview of cloud computing. As per the definition, cloud computing is on demand availability of computer resources like server, which contains memory, CPU, different type of data storage, like blob storage, object storage, databases like structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data, networking which includes virtual network subnet connecting with on-premise and so on public hybrid private are cloud deployment models each cloud deployment model satisfied different organization needs like if you have applications web apps you will definitely go with public cloud where you only have to showcase your product if you have sensitive data industries like banking you will definitely go with private cloud. But if you have sensitive data as well as websites, then you can go with hybrid cloud. It is the combination of both public and private cloud. The main type of cloud computing includes software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. As you can see in the traditional way, client manages application, data, runtime, middleware or almost everything. In infrastructure as a service, client managers, application, data, runtime, middleware, and operating system. In platform as a service, client responsible for application and data, where in software as a service, everything will be managed by software itself. Now let's talk about leading cloud providers. The first one is Amazon Web Service. So AWS is most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. It offers around 170 plus services. The next one is Microsoft Azure. Azure is a cloud computing service provider like AWS. It is a collection of various cloud computing services used to build, test, deploy and manage application in the cloud. The next one is Google Cloud Platform, which provides various cloud computing services needed to develop, deploy, scale, monitor and operate a cloud. The next one is Oracle Cloud. Oracle Cloud provides services like compute, storage, networking, database, and platform service like AWS, Azure, and GCP. Now, cloud providers worldwide adoption. According to Graph, AWS has the maximum cloud adoption. Azure is on second number, then Google Cloud, then Oracle, then Alibaba Cloud. In next, we will see cloud computing market size. The worldwide public cloud computing market continues to develop 
and it is predicted to reach an estimated 397 billion US dollar in 2022. You can take an idea how cloud computing is going to be in the future. Have a look at the cloud computing market size, which is rapidly increasing over the year. Enterprises are continuously looking for cloud experts and getting a cloud job requires good cloud computing skills and experiences. No wonder that number of people are willing to make career switch in the cloud domain. If you have similar desire, I'm sure you must have question like what is skill you should learn in order to become a cloud expert. Cloud is nothing but a computer sitting somewhere else and this computer there are high chances it is running Linux. So the more foundation or Linux are clear so that you can much more comfortable while getting started with cloud. In next you should have good communicational skills which is must for every field database skills like MySQL databases knowledge of DevOps so that you can work with development as well as operation teams. You should have basic understanding of cloud providers like Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud Platform, Oracle Cloud, Microsoft Azure and so on. In the next we will see job opportunities for cloud engineers. As you can see the job posted in United States and as well as in India. As you can see there are 30,000 plus cloud engineers jobs posted in India as well as in other countries like USA, UK. There are lots of job opportunities available for cloud engineers. In next we will see average salary of cloud engineers. According to Payscale the average salary of cloud developer is 12 lakh 41 thousand INR per year in India and 127k USD per year in USA. For cloud operation the average salary is 700k per year in India and 97k USD per year in USA. The average salary for cloud architect is 13,57,000 INR in India and 133k USD per year in USA. Now let's have a look to cloud engineers role and responsibilities. The first one is cloud developer. So a cloud developers main responsibility is to work on cloud application development projects. A cloud developer does everything that a computer programmer and web designer do like designing and implementation of cloud infrastructure, analyze available cloud architectures, monitoring of services and maintenance over time, development of different workflows and processes and so on. The next one is cloud operation. Cloud ops responsibility is to manage operation of cloud service on day to day basis. They are responsible for to create cloud strategy and manage adoption process, elaborate cloud application software and hardware, develop and organize cloud system efficiently. The third one is cloud architect. So a cloud architect is responsible to implement and design system that are secure, reliable and cost efficient. They are responsible for configuration management, resource allocation, optimizing performance capacity and so on. Now let's see brands they are already using cloud computing and trusting in the cloud. There are lots of big brands including Netflix, Adobe, PayPal, BBC, Facebook, LinkedIn. They all are using cloud computing services. Finally, we will see how to get started. You can start by choosing the right certification. If you are interested in AWS, you can go with AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. If you are interested in Microsoft Azure, you can go with Microsoft Azure Solution Architect Certification in Technical Implementation and Design. If you are interested in Google Cloud, you can go with Google Certified Associate Cloud Engineer Certification. And if you are interested in Oracle, you can go with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Architect. In next step, you can enhance your technical knowledge, knowledge of complex and latest technologies like Docker, DevOps, databases and Kubernetes. In next step, we have free class for AWS, Azure, GCP and Oracle, which will help you to understand basic. If you are interested in AWS, you can register yourself by going on to the link k21academy.com slash awssa02. 
if you are interested in azure you can register by going on to the link k21academy.com slash az30302 if you are interested in google cloud you can register yourself for this free class by going on to the link k21academy.com slash gcp pro 02 and if you are interested in oracle cloud you can register yourself by going on to the link k21academy.com slash oci 02 till then take care